Hi all my beautiful Dazzlers, so welcome to today's vlog, this is Editor, editor Self Me because I decided that I would not do an intro, just so silly, so welcome to this video, I hope you guys enjoy it, so let's get started, this is the next clip you guys are going to see, crazy stuff. In a couple days, I went on holiday for like 3-4 to four days. Um, and then I decided because the week was over by then and I went to bed at this appointment So then I decided that I just wanted to change this video into a monthly reading vlog So now it's not weekly. It's monthly because I feel like that week Didn't do that much. I did read like a book and a half, but like that's Not that much if I wasn't on holiday where I probably would have got like two to three books done by then Um, so yeah I'm just going to do monthly, um, but I just went through my bookshelf and colour co co coordinated it. So I reorganised my bookshelf yesterday and I absolutely hate it. Let me show you guys. Well, it's not a bookshelf. I haven't had a, don't have a bookshelf yet, but I am planning to get one. But the way my brain thinks is that if I get a bookshelf that's around £50 or plus, why would I want to get a bookshelf if I could get books that are around 50 pound or plus like you know my red books here then all my white books here then all my blue books here and then all my purple books here then my orange and my yellowy i guess and then my pink books here then my green books here then my black books here i just think it looks a mess organize my shelf and i'm going to show you guys all the books that i read this whole entire year because why not and um, while i'm doing my shelf because while i'm reorganizing my books because i know that i won't be doing that it a long time <laughs> that's unless that i don't like it but um i'm gonna get them all and then show you guys i'll show you guys quickly <laughs> so i got this whole entire stack right here look at it look at those annotations not all the books are flipped that way so that's on the other side uh, oh my god the annotations look so aesthetic like can we just talk about that how pretty that is that warms my heart so that's not it if you're thinking that was it no balance no it's not it really isn't don't know what accent that was but i just, sometimes when i get really excited i just put the accent on ready guys for the next one Oh, that one was satisfying. This one is even more satisfying. Look at this. Oh, will I count how many these are for you guys? Yes, I will. I will. Don't worry. But. <laughs> okay, beautiful Dazzlers. So, it's a little bit later on. I reorganized my bookshelf. Right here, I have all my crystal books. Then, like, it's very off the edge. So I might need to move this. I need to find more space for that, not gonna lie. All of my books that I've read this month and currently reading, then these two cute romances. I read this one, it was all right, not really worth the hype, but it was all right, okay. Don't hate me for it. Uh, <laughs> the Unhoneymooners as well, which I have not read, and 13 Reasons Why. I don't know which genre this goes in because I haven't read it or watched the series, so I don't know. Stephen King It, I had to show the beauty off. And honestly, I don't know if I want to read this now or I want to read it near like October. Um, comics, some of my fantasy, haven't read any of these. All of my horror, I've only read this one. Not any of these. And this one right here, don't mind the dirt. And Harry Potter series, I read all the way up to number four, halfway through number four. Still have these three to read. This one's scaring me, not gonna lie. Um, all of Colleen Hoover's books. All of Colleen Hoover. She is a queen herself and an amazing author. We love her. And then this author as well. Uh, this was my first book that got me back into reading. So she has a special place in my heart. And this one, I, my mum got me as a surprise because she's seen how happy I was while reading this one. And it wasn't as good, but that's okay. That is okay. Anyways, some of my annotated books. Horror, horror, and um, fantasy. Two of my favourite covers at the moment. 
look at it beautiful this is the book that i got in a different language and it's polish and um, so look at it had a mum out i don't know right sad books read this one and halfway through this one and these two i've not read yet and i can't wait to start reading this one because this one is will this one will bring me to tears anyways i thought i would do a little reading update of what i've been reading recently around this week so i finished the crown of midnight series i love this book so much it's like really really good and the next book that i have to get and which is going to be on tuesday is the assassin blade if you will say it's like the least interesting book like out of the full series um they say that you get to know the history of sam as well and um this beautiful queen herself um in the first book that i read i was like it's all i was like prince and her the prince and her the prince and the assassin the prince and the assassin now i'm the god and the assassin you guys know it and then they decided to like have it really yeah i'm not gonna spoil it but it was sad and i cried and um, blue tabs are crying sad bits pink tabs are romance and um, oranges characters and Zion is shocked like shook like what the heck and there's some other ones in there that I totally forgot okay it's just another shade of pink anyways yeah then <laughs> I started yep I think you could have guessed it it's 1000 pages yo I started Stephen King it it's very different compared to the movie, I will say that. It has been, honestly, the weather is amazing. It's really hot. And I thought I would show you guys the books that I got. I thrifted these and if you guys don't know in some of the morrisons that you guys go to if you live in the uk that is but in my local morrisons you can actually go there and you can donate to charity some of them are pretty good like well-known books as well which i find really good that you can actually donate to charity as well as reusing books because lots of people just get one book and then they don't read it again you know and yeah i really really like that so i got three of the, these books and i donated a bit of money to charity and i did good this is a good thrifting session i would say so myself so let's first start off with this one this is called the sandman and just look at this like don't you dare say you won't pick up this book and be like this kind of looks interesting you know me i'm absolutely obsessed with thriller books and it's like for me it goes thriller fantasy love that's where it goes at the moment i've been in a crazy fantasy mood and i've non-stop read fantasy but i do love horror as well um <laughs> this right here i will read the back for you guys just so you guys can search it up on amazon and see if you want to get it or not because i love watching vlogs that give you book recommendations because you can never have enough of book recommendations and i don't really like reading the back because <laughs> there's just something about going into a book and knowing absolutely nothing at all which i love um stood dude i think it's a boy um, 10 million books sold so that's pretty good Sweden's most prolific serial killer okay he'll lulu, lulu you into a sense of calm he has one target left when Mike is discovered on a railway line close to death okay I'm not gonna read too much but that is just a slim bit of what it's about and the next one <laughs> Why do I get that song in my head as soon as I looked at the cover? We are castaways. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That song. If you know it, you know it. And uh, this is called, guess it, Think Again, The Castaways. 
And at the minute, me and my mum have been watching a couple of like survival, not like survival tips, like how to survive in the wild. It's like uh, shows. We've watched this one that is The Wilds and it is on Amazon, guys, if you guys want to check that out. And oh, what's this one of one called? I'll check it on my phone for you guys. Phone. It is called the eye and then like line land. And it's like a simulation type of thing. Like they're not actually on the land and it's all fake and it's all in their head. A bit like VR, but way more crazier. And it's really good. So I thought I'd pick up a book about that and you wake on a beautiful remote ascent. Sparkling blue seas, golden sunsets, barely a footprint in the sand. Yet this is no ordinary escape. I don't want to read the rest, but next to the wreck of a plane. So I'm really excited to get into this. It seems very cool and fun. And I, I love some other things at the minute. Now this one is a big win because well what can I say? I feel like the camera is slanted. Sorry if you're watching that all upside down. Um, this is quite a popular recommendation on TikTok. TikTok. And it is called the Song of Achilles. I'm really excited to read that one and this one. I don't say I'm excited to read that one, but these are my two high excited ones to read. And something that I did not thrift and I got off Amazon is oh you guys see that right i did start the throne of glass series i said to myself i'm not going to start the shadow i was saying out the shadow me series because i haven't finished the throne of glass series but i couldn't help myself i just it's all over my tiktok is this book and the series and it's crazy it's absolutely insane why did it sound why did i say absolutely insane like that i do not know it's oh my god yes i have read this much today and i've actually drew it inside my book i drew it yes guys i do i not take my books and write my books but i've never actually draw things on it so I seen it on TikTok and I was like okay I'm gonna start doing that and I've done little teeny doodles like I'd say this let me show you like I've done little teeny doodles here and they're really cute this one I love like look at this it's so cute and then because if you guys know you know basically that's all i'm saying if you've read this book you know i'm not going to spoil it but if you know you know <laughs> i drew a bird it's like a star bird it's like you know how people connect the stars and then it makes like a picture like that and i'm up to 157 and i definitely definitely defo recommend this I'm not going to say is it better than the front of glass because they're different concepts. Both of them are like very different but they both have like powers and like stuff like that. And just different type of powers. And I'm not going to compare them because the front of glass series, the very first book is my comfort book and I love it so 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 much. <laughs> but I haven't, I actually have yeah, cried, cried, cried a couple of times in here. Yeah. yeah, anyways. I've started a bookstagram. I've started a bookstagram. Look at this. <gasps> oh, yeah. So I have a couple of photos on there. One, two, three, four. I have four photos on there, and I'm adding another one um, today. And there might be a couple more on there when you guys like check it out because when this video gets uploaded, it's going to be in a couple more days. So it's. My username is Dion's Library. I'll put it here just in case you guys, you know, want to search it up. Well, I have my link tree in there, which has my YouTube and my Amazon wish list. So my Amazon wish list is basically a place where people can buy me things and send books, 
because it's pretty much only books on my Amazon wish list. There's nothing else. Um, so yes, I'm a crazy book lover, and I honestly, I'm just really excited to grow my Instagram. I really am excited to meet new people on there and talk to new people about books because every single time I get a new book and I finish reading it I just want to talk to someone non-stop but I'm going to end this vlog here I'm going to take some photos and then edit this for you guys and also I'm going to be trying I'm not going to promise on this um, I'm going to try and upload once or twice a week I'll try if I don't I'm sorry, but I would, I would try. Okay. Um, and I will do. I'll be doing challenges and vlogs and reading vlogs and stuff like that. So I'm very excited. Very, very excited, guys. I feel like there's someone in our back garden, and they're watching me talk to the camera. Like I'm like this to a wall. They can't see the camera. I'm like. Yeah. Um. Give me some video recommendations in the comments about books obviously <laughs> i think i've turned into a booktuber and a book instagrammer <laughs> um like some challenges and stuff like that that you guys would like to see me do anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys next week bye